Hello guys, this is Kathy with KK Creations. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on making a bowl cozy. We worked on them last year and I have a request for a new one um, because they liked them so well. So I am going to get busy and I thought I'd take you along for a little bit of a, of a ride with me in making the new one. I have already made one. This is what it looks like. It has little shafts on it. So you put your bowl in here when you're eating so that you can not burn your hands while you're trying to eat a bowl of beans, a bowl of chili, soup. Um, it's just wonderful for anything that you have that's hot. So I'm going to give you the materials needed and then I'm going to make one more. Okay, first you're going to need a piece of material. A piece of material is going to be a 10 inch by 10 inch square. And then you need a piece of batting, whatever batting is your choice. This is just some that we bought from Walmart last year. So I've cut it down. You, This is the remnants of what I used to make my grandson's quilt for Christmas. So I'm using what's left over in my stash. So you take that 10 inch square of fabric on the top of it and you make sure it's straight, make sure it's even. Okay, and then you'll notice on this side, on all four like little plus sign, I put in pins to hold it together. So just do that on both pieces and we'll get ready to sew it. Now what you're going to do with that is you're going to crease it down through the center from diagonal from corner to corner on both sides. And that way when you get ready to sew it, you'll sew right down through here, take it out of the machine, and sew it right down through here. And then you'll take the pins out. When you get that part done, you will take your piece of material and fold it in half. Okay, And on the folded side, on this folded side, you will mark down two inches. And on the open side, because this, will, this side is open, okay, you mark over an inch and make a little dot. And then you make the little diagonal line from there to there. That's what you're going to sew. And then you flip it over and you do the same thing. Two inch on the folded line, an inch across the top that's open. Then you take it out and you fold it the other way. Okay? And that you'll do the same thing with it. On the folded line, you make it two inches, and on the open side, you make it one inch, and then make that diagonal. And you'll do this side too. I haven't done it, but you'll do that side. So then you sew those. Okay? Then when you're done, and you've got it sewed. The part that's above your sewing line, your sew line will be there. The part that's above it, you can cut that off to take some of the bulk out on all four of the sew lines that you did. And then when you're done with all that, you'll bring it back, all sewed, and then you'll take, your bowl will look like this. It, both sides of it will have this. So then you're going to take and you're going to put the right sides together. Why just like that. You'll have both sides. You'll have both pieces of batting on the outside. And as soon as I get that done, I'll come back and show you exactly what I'm talking about. You will see better on this side that I sewed from here to here and then I sewed from here to here and on this side you can see the little lines okay let me get the other one sewed if you're not comfortable just sewing as it is, you can always take a 
marker of some sort and mark down on the this side since it's not going to be seen anyway so that you can stay on the straight line but it's relatively easy if you watch make sure you're from corner to corner I ran out of thread huh I just wanted to let you know my sewing machine became unthreaded if you'll look right there you see this little piece right here your bobbin thread just drops into that and then there's a little tiny let me pull this up it's a little tiny hook and your thread has to go around that and sometimes it comes up on the top of your thing and when it does it messes with your sewing so just if you're having trouble sewing check that first generally that will be your problem let's put you back over here let me put this one back in and try again because it it did not sew that's not it this one's the one it did not sew at all that second time through Sometimes low machines are very fickle creatures. That's how I got my brand new one. I was working on my grandson's quilt and fussing it in, just like I do with everything else I'm trying to craft with. And my husband thought, oh, well, a sewing machine would be a perfect thing to get her for Christmas. Not realizing that the problem with the other sewing machine wasn't the sewing machine, it was the operator. And her patience level is zip and zero. But I got it. And my grandson loved his quilt, so. All right. Back to this. I have both sides of this sewed now. So now we're going to take our pins out. And here is where it comes into play for your one inch and two inches like I said on the folded side you will mark down two inches if you have uh, a fabric marker that would be better but it, yeah I'm gonna mark it down the two inches make sure it's even mark down two inches and put just a little line. It's going to be on the inside. Nobody's really going to notice it. But if you're going to make them to sell them, you'd want to do as much as possible. Then on the, the side that's open, you mark it at one inch. Just like that. I have the mark here at one inch and the mark here at two inches. Now what we're going to do is take our ruler from the one inch mark to the two inch mark. Okay, from the one inch mark to the two inch mark and just make a line now well, that one didn't a permanent marker is a hard thing to do but you can when you're sewing you can you can pretty much do the same thing as you did there we go now on the other side mark on the outside of the material because it's you still have to do the same two inches on the folded side and the one inch on the open side. See what I'm talking about the open side is it opens up like that. And then take your marker and you're going to do this on all four sides. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark the two inch and the four. I'm not going to put the line down through because I've done it several times. But at least for your first couple, make sure you do it like that so you can get it pretty close to being the exact same thing on each one. Two inches and one inch. One inch on the open side and two inches on the closed side. And you do this with both pieces of material. I'm very new to YouTube. I have a few videos. I'm hoping to grow stronger and stronger with each video that I do. So if anybody has any comments, 
um, that will help me. I am very happy to listen to them. Uh, if you uh, if you just want to leave a comment that you like what I'm doing, um, a suggestion of anything that you would like to see done in the future, please just give me a little comment down in the bottom. Always like if you want to share our content with other people so that we can grow our community and grow our thing stronger. We uh, we started this. I started this YouTube video thing in, um, well, I started doing videos middle of last year. And we come up with the name Kincaid Special Creations. The initials are KSK. Those are the same initials of my daughter who has sadly passed away uh, a couple of years ago. And this is a way for me personally to do something to keep my mind off all the sadness in the world and all the craziness that's going on out there, as everybody knows. Um, so, I would appreciate anything that you have to say to help me to grow the channel and to get stronger and better and learn new things. After all, life is all about learning new things. And at 63 years old, I've still got a lot to learn. I still got a lot to share with the world. So anytime that you feel like you would like to comment, if it's nothing but a little thumbs up in the right direction, I am a happy camper. Thank you. I'll be back as soon as I get these sewed. Okay, I'm done with all that sewing. I have all the stuff sewed on the inside, and the little puckers right here are all sewed. So now what you do is, I'm going to show you where the line is. You take and you cut just to the top of where those stitches are. That just gives you a little less bulk in your bow cozy. I made a few of them that I forgot to do that and it does make a difference. Just cut them all four off but not the stitches just the ends. And then I'll walk you through the next step. And this would be a good point if you were, if your batting was a little bit bigger than your pieces of material, you would want to cut that down. So I'll check that next. Okay. So now let's see. Right here you can see that my batting is just a little bit bigger than my material. So I'm going to cut that where it's even. Because you don't want any extra bulk than you need. Just a little bit much on this side too. Now, let's check this one out. And same thing with this one. So don't worry about it. If you get everything that's a little bit too big, you can always trim it down after you've got it sewed together. That way you know exactly how much you need. Okay. Now I have all the extra stuff off of that one. Now, you're going to put it in the position it needs to be cut off any extra strings that you don't need. Okay, there's that one. And then here's this one. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to have one of them right side up and the other one right side down. Try to match them up to be the best that you can. Putting all the stuff down in so everything is pretty much the same. Okay, so I see that I'm a little short on that one end. So, let me just move it around till it matches up. So now I'm going to take back these pins. So there's going to be eight of them. So on seven of them, you're going to put a pin in. Oh, I put my pins up. But anyway, 
You'll put you'll put one in each side except one, and leave one open because you're going to have to turn it right side out when you get it all done. So around the corner, around this corner, because it makes it easier to keep that corner in place, and then just leave it opening, just just about from from one of these little peaks to about a inch in from your from your corner. So like that. So that you know that then when you get ready to do it, you can turn it inside out. And as soon as I do that, I'll be back so we can turn it inside out. Now, as you can see, I have sewn it all the way around. With the exception of right here. Okay, so. We'll cut off all the threads that we need to cut off. Pins out of the way, so I don't end up sicking myself with them. Okay, so then where it's open, you'll want it. Oh, before you do that, clip the corners. Not where the stitches stitching is, but above where you stitched it. It just takes out some of the bulk out of the corners. See, that's what the corner will look like now. Just a little clip on it. Okay, now we take it and turn it right side out. Just keep pushing it through that hole and all of it will come right side out. Okay, and then you want to take your finger or your scissors or whatever you got handy and you want to make this end as stuck out as you can because that will make less bulk when you're going around it the next time. Here's this corner, and this corner, and this corner. Okay, so now you have the makings of your bowl cozy. Okay, so on the end that you did not sew, just fold down the outside edges of it on both sides. Generally, I take a pin and pin this together until I get to the sewing machine. Simply so that it stays there and I don't have to hold it in place. And you can get a better finished edge on it. Okay. My fingers just doesn't want to work too well. So, but I am keeping on trucking. Now they say the more you use something, the better you get with it. So, ouch, I'm going to keep on using this sewing machine. Okay, so, now, there's what it'll look like. So, what you want to do now is take you an edge all the way around that's going to enclose that open spot that you had all the way around your bowl cozy all the way around it as soon as i get that done i'll be back all right so here is bowl cozy number two you have the little rounded bottom for your hand to set your bowl in let's see i'll set my scissors in it and that way you're all protected when you're eating your hot food all right guys there is my bowl cozy tutorial you want to do anything with them just practice practice give them to your friends give them to family members whatever until you get really good and then you can take them to a craft fair all right that the ends this session of the kincaid chat and craft i have enjoyed it I hope to hear from you. I hope to know you can give me a name and a city that you live in or even just the state that you live in. I would love to know who is watching me and who is enjoying my content.
try to make one. If you do, please leave me a comment. Um, I love to hear from you. I am enjoying all of my subscribers. I would love to have more. But if you um, like the video, just give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you've watched it and enjoyed it and you'd like to see more. I have several more ideas in the sewing line since I got the brand new sewing machine for Christmas from Timmy. So keep watching. Thank you and have a absolutely wonderful day and always know that I think the world of you and really appreciate all of your time that you spend with me. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.